This is great. We can just put like four times because there's going to be four planks. And oh my god, we're going to save ourselves even more brain capacity than I ever thought. Like all this can go because we could just tell them to do this four times because there's going to be four planks and that's it. Oh my god, this is just glorious. Alright everybody, hello and welcome back to another episode on Autonauts and welcome back to a very, very beautiful evening on this very planet. Indeed. In the last episode, we uh, worked a lot on getting some of these Mark II bots going so that we can finally automate the entire process of getting Mark II bots manufactured for us. So, um, well, we can use them for all of our future endeavors. We've always got a very nice and stable supply of them for any projects that we may have. And we've just in general also got a lot of them that we can go and uh, use for any upgrades that we may need. And, um, well, you can see we've still got a nice uh, three of them sitting right here. One of them I think we'd already employed in the making of... Uh, these wheels down here, if I remember correctly. And uh, now today we are going to be looking at programming these three guys, one for the bot's body, one for the bot's head, and one to upgrade our Mark 1 bot here on the fixing peg production so we can thrust that forward a bit more. And then afterwards we are probably going to go and manufacture some more, especially since we've got like some upgrade potential right here in terms of our plank production, as you can see, that part being quite empty, and uh, well, some other potential for the future as well. So, good bit of things on the list here, but just quickly before we get started, if you're new around here and if you happen to enjoy this episode, please make sure to smash that subscribe button right down below, that would mean the absolute world to me. Uh, we're trying to hit 1k subscribers, and every single person of course does truly help out a ton with that one. Now all those things out of the way, let's go right up here and get this stuff started. I think first things first we'll make sure that the bot's bodies and the bot heads are flowing and then we'll kind of go from there basically. The issue still being that we don't have a single fixing peg <laughs> remaining. It's, it's absolutely insane. I mean we're using so so many of these we, we're really just not getting on with it I have to say. Um, Maybe we even do this one. Okay, let, let's do that one first, even. Okay, let me go and uh, pause this guy's operation here real quick. We'll uh, kind of move him off the task, basically. We can... Let's go over here. Just hit record on him so he comes over, basically. So we've got some space, and then we go. going to go and uh, grab these put them in there. Cool, so this guy's off the task for now, we've got that thing open for us then, and the question here being, does he have an extra brain? He does not, so maybe with one of the Monk 2 bots we could get him to do some more for us in terms of the poles, especially with the new operations that we had discovered in the last episode. So let me go grab this little guy and get him to do the job for us. Now, I think we're going to start him out with two poles, because that's already going to... Well, in fact, we could do three, given that he's got six slots in his hands for the fixing pegs. Um, cannot do un take until hands are full due to that, of course. So we can only really go and remove the uh, move to pole storages. Then we're going to go get him here, and we're going to add to chopping block. Right. And we are going to re well, not that one. Um, we would like to repeat, not that one. How did I add this after the fact? Now, oh yeah, like like, like this, right? And then we do until hands are empty. Add to that chopping block, which means that in the end you'll make six fixing pegs, right? Um, I'm gonna have to do those myself of course, um, just to kind of get them out of my hands. We're going to remove that here in just a second when we are done. And then what we can basically do is we can tell him to go and take the fixing pegs and repeat this entire process of finding the nearest fixing peg, moving to and picking up until his hands are full. Because he's got six slots in his hands, there's going to be six fixing pegs, so that's perfect. We can literally do just this 
and that's going to mean that I can make six fixing pegs in one go with 8kb still free after we do the repeat for the entire thing. Well, no, not not quite. Not quite, because we need to actually place them, right? So uh, we're going to place them in here, but there's still going to be uh, capacity left over, and he's going to be able to make six of them in one go instead of two with the Mark One, thanks to, of course, on the one hand side, his improved brain, but also on the other hand side, there's a new set of operations. So once more, thanks so much to us for letting me know this. It's absolutely incredible. So, so helpful. Um, but yeah, we're going to do that. So he's going to move to fixing peg storage, add to fixing peg storage. We are going to uh, place the repeat here only for the adding, because he doesn't need to move there multiple times in a row, evidently. Um, here, you know, I included these just to make sure that he actually finds all the fixing pegs needed. But um, then we go until hands are empty, add to that fixing peg storage. Repeat the entire thing. We've still got 5kb free, and we're doing three times the operations with this guy now. Also, of course, at a way higher speed, because, like, this guy is basically working faster than me at this point. So, really, really happy with that. Absolutely insane. Let's get that going. And, um, also, we seem to have the plant breeding technology now good to go. Really breezing through the research without really being able to do anything with that currently. But you can see just how quickly he's already working away at things. I mean, it's absolutely insane. Oops. Did I... Sorry? Did I place some in front of here? I guess I did. Okay, is there one more lying there? I think I... Yeah. I accidentally placed three right there. Look at that! He just picked up six of these! And now he's play Oh my god! <laughs> this is insane! He is so much faster than before! This is just absolute insanity. And I think we can also look at improving this process down here, to be honest, um, through that. Now, another question would be how many hand spaces a log takes. I think it is four. So even if we upgrade this guy right here, eventually we would probably not get past uh, the one log and then two planks in the end, but at least we would gain some speed. Now, what we are going to do here real quick is I think... <laughs> We're gonna have to help a bit with a with a plank production for a quick second, just so uh, you know we actually have some poles flying in here still. Otherwise, we're basically gonna be out of fixing pegs in no time whatsoever. So we're gonna throw all these in there, and there we go. Also, yeah, I mean we're, we're using all these planks for the panels too, so it's, it's just kind of flying out there. But Look at the amount of fixing pegs for now. Getting that should at the very least help very much here. Now, um, that all is going to have to balance itself. Um, the honest issue here being that unless we do have fixing pegs constantly in here, we can't really put a bot onto this job because we do need to teach them where to grab the fixing pegs. So, hopefully we can at least catch up on that somewhat. Uh, <laughs> Looking at the speed at which these poles are draining currently, I'm kind of doubting it, to be honest. Not gonna lie. Um, but what we are gonna do is we're gonna go grab this little guy right here, and we're gonna teach him how to make heads. Which, um... We can't teach him how to make heads because we don't have planks. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. This is insane. Oh, God. Okay. Um, I guess... We need to help with this still. I... Wow. Like... Jeez. I don't know what to do here. Oh, also this will be a mega issue right here. We need to fix this right this very second, actually. It's way more important that we actually keep the logs flowing in, I guess. I've got no clue which one of these guys is the recharging bot, but the one down below here must be the one, but I can't get to him. That The trees are in the way. No, it's not. It's an axe spot right there. That's also not him. Maybe this guy here? Yup, that's him. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna go and uh, wind up some of these bots ourselves so you can kind of conserve a tad bit of that energy, I guess, and then these things are gonna get it rolling again. I mean, that's a very, very essential one, to be honest, because those, needs, those logs need to keep flowing for us. And now, you can see the good old issue of us having yet another bottleneck, and that's um, this guy right here. So maybe we actually need to dedicate one of these guys to the plank production to kind of catch up on things for at least a quick second. I would really like to also use them to explore maybe how many... No, they, they should be able to take two logs, no? Wait, how many is this guy? 
He is taking two. Okay, so they're able to take two logs, which is very, very nice in the end, to be honest. Because if they're able to take two logs, we can make double the amount of planks from the logs that we have, which, well, as long as we get logs, at least, should be uh, very much the way to go. So... Oh, this is the repair guy, right. I am going to go wait for this guy to finish, and then we're just going to put somebody new on the log task, I guess. Uh, thank you very much for your service. You can come with me as well. We'll kind of put you off to the side here with your friendo, I guess. And then you can just stop there. So, um, we will go grab this little guy right here. Put him on record. Oh, god. I need to rewind that to ASAP as well. So, you are going to take from log storage, and you're going to repeat until hands full, right? That way, I guess he can get two logs. Then we go and uh, make stuff with it, of course. Move to chopping log, add to chopping log. Which, once more, we are going to repeat until hands are empty. After that, you can go and uh, pick these things up. Now, this is actually the question. Hmm. Maybe we just let him do this operation for a quick second and we see if we can actually take two or three logs just to kind of explore that. And then we move ahead with the rest of the programming. We're just not going to put a repeat. So whenever he finishes this one session, he's going to stop, basically. And I guess we can just quickly move these things over. Yeah, so he's doing two logs, basically. Which means... Wait, let's rewind this guy. Very, very important, that. He can go and zoom around, get all the logs for us. Okay, there we go. So he's done. You can go back to recording then, and um, remove that instantly, because I clicked the wrong thing. We are not going to do until hands are full here, because of course that's not really an option. Um, can we do like a repeat until the source is empty? Until question mark empty? Oh wait, there's a times! Oh my god, I never saw that! It's even better! It is even better than before! We don't even need to do until hands are full or hands are empty. We can define a set amount of times! Oh my god, Doros, you, you don't know how much I'm loving you for this one. This is great. We can just put like four times, because there's going to be four planks. And oh my god, we're going to save ourselves even more brain capacity than I ever thought. Like, all this can go, because we could just tell him to do this four times, because there's going to be four planks and that's it. Oh my god, this is just glorious. Then we go and put these in here, which of course we're going to go and like delete all this. Um, you're literally just going to go move to the plank storage and repeat this until hamster and this is just insanely great. Look at that. It is so, so, so much better. I am so happy with that. And that's basically the entire process. Very nice and streamlined. Double the planks as before. Working way faster. And uh, on top of that, he's still got 6kb free. This is insane. And, I mean, we can just scale up this operation. Like, if, if he gets more hands or something based on some upgrade that we get, we just put it to six times and, and we're done. This is just... I, I'm loving this so much. Thank you so much, Zoros. Oh, yeah. I, I can't tell you just how much I'm appreciating this one. And there we go. That's a plank output doubled. And, and the bot working a whole lot faster. So that should be very, very nice indeed. Now, um, the real question is, if that really uh, solves our plank supply issue fully now, we will uh, maybe chuck in a few additional ones to get started too. Just to kind of make sure that we've got enough to uh, collect here for ourselves in the end. Uh, when we want to teach the bots how to produce the stuff. Because you can see, I mean, these guys are still waiting. They're still um, like, oh, I don't have enough. I'm going to stay here for a while longer, grab some more planks. So um, we need to make sure there's enough for them to work with and that we actually have some positive inflows again once more. Because like, Jesus Christ, are we using up a lot of wood? It is absolutely insane. I mean, who would have thought that automating a bot com uh, production as complex would uh, use a lot of resources, but wow. <laughs> it's still quite insane, not gonna lie. There we go. Okay, so we've got some uh, few excess planks now. Let's see how long that lasts. We'll kind of hope that for now... I mean... <laughs> it's, it's not really lasting, is it? I, I suppose 
We could just make another one of these stations and get one of these Mark 1s to help out. I think we will. I mean, we need to make sure that we've got enough planks flowing in here in the very end, to be honest. So, uh, let me go grab uh, one more of these logs. Put that there. Grab a crude axe. Put that there. We're going to make another table. Just like that. We're going to go... Uh, planks are already pre-programmed on that. We are going to go... And... Record with this guy. What I think we can do, right? Let's just take a log here. I guess it's not to be programmed in the end. Um, click that. Okay, so we've got to remove a lot of things now, right? Log storage stays the same. We don't need that. We don't need to move to. We don't need to weigh. We don't need the engaging part. What we do need is the move to chopping block 5 instead, and to chopping block 5 instead, and uh, then find the nearest plank in... Uh, how do I move that one now? I guess like that. Okay, so I mean, uh, that's gonna require a tad bit of moving. Yeah, there we go. So, um, technically I guess we could make this more efficient, again, with the operations that Doros showed us, but he's not able to carry more than long one lock anyways, and this bot frame is sufficient for the current operation, so we're not going to be pre too preoccupied with this, we're going to just leave the operation in there as is. Um, but in general, this should now work. Indeed. So we're going to make him uh, work like that, and hopefully the amount from, like, two bots working on this should be now finally sufficient to get us going. That is until he actually inevitably runs out of power in two seconds. Good news being, we still have enough logs to supply this operation for the time being. So that's a start, I guess. Let's go and rewind this little guy. That seems to be out of uh, range of everything else. We're going to go chuck, like, another four planks into this to kind of help out here a bit. And then um, I really hope that we can actually sustain this now, because honestly, I mean, we've got two bots working at this. That is when I have free... Oh, he's being rewound. Apologies, I didn't want to take your job away from you, buddy. So, honestly, please make this work. We've got so many planks flowing into this now. This should honestly be doable at this point. That said, the second we get those bot heads manufactured, it may not be doable anymore. But now, let us quickly go and actually get this going. So, um, we will require, for this very operation, two planks. Let me go here real quick so I can quickly grab two planks when they're there. One, two. Two! Cards, <laughs> okay. So, we will go and move to plank storage. In the end, it's only two planks, so doing an operation here wouldn't save us any brain capacity. Take two times. That is good to go. We will go and put those there. Not going to save any uh, brain capacity by um, doing operations here either, because there's always just two, right? Uh, planks. Planks are going to be a bit more of an issue. <laughs> I like... Now we don't have planks, and um, poles are not any better still. <laughs> I just don't have enough of anything. <laughs> what am I even <laughs> supposed to do? We've got so many new bots working on all these things. It, whatever we do, it's not enough. This is just insane. Like, the amount of materials we're chucking through this production is just absolutely mad. We do have a few planks now that we're working with, I guess. This pickup operation is still not ideal, but he does need to find uh, the planks every time, I think, so that's part of the issue in the end. Uh, but, like, honestly... I don't see what we can do about this right now. Now, what we are going to do first, I guess, what we're going to teach him first, is we're going to teach him to take the tree seeds that he needs and put them there. That's fine. Um... The one thing that he still needs in the very end is going to be the planks. So, ooh! Ah, not the planks, the poles. But look at this, there's five planks waiting for somebody to pick them up. It was only a very temporary thing, but I mean... 
maybe it's going the right direction now. Uh, it's It still seems like a bit of a struggle, but maybe a bit less of a struggle than it used to be. <laughs> I promise we're going to make it more of a struggle when this guy gets to work on the heads, but, you know, those are going to unfall at some point as well. Uh, the, the poles, though, being an issue. I think what we're going to do is we're going to pause this, we're going to remember where this guy is standing, and we're basically going to go make some planks of our own that we're going to make into poles of our own that we're going to stack into here so we have something to teach this guy with. Then we're going to teach him, and then we're just going to hope that he does something about it. Yes. <laughs> That's literally all we can do right now. I I don't even know. <laughs> this is just insane. We um we've made a lot of improvements, honestly, this this episode on on all these things. But it still seems like it's an all and off. Don't really know what to tell you. I, I would get this other bot to work on the poles here, but it's, it's not like we have any planks that we could use for that purpose. So. <laughs> I don't know. We need to make this guy a Mark II as well, I feel, and then have like a Mark I work on extra pulls or something. But we don't have the Mark IIs right now. And in the end, I also kind of want to get that automated setup going for us. So, you know, um, can't just keep chucking Mark IIs at this uh, pre production part. It just won't work out right now. Let's quickly record. Gonna go and take two poles from the storage. There we go. And you are going to add those to your workbench as well. Which is beautiful. And you're gonna hop on things a tad bit. And um you can also remove one of these. And then we're gonna be out of storage. Yeah, so he needs a brain upgrade, definitely. Um it's just not really optimizable due to always needing two of everything and a lot of of different materials. I, it's, I don't see any real optimization potential here. Because an operation takes just as much ca capacity as like, so like a repeat function takes as much capacity as one of these. So if I manage to get rid of one of these by putting a repeat there, what sense does it make in the end, right? So he needs a brain upgrade in the end. What we will now um, teach him is to, of course, pick up the bod head, put it there. Um, he's at minus 3 KB, so I think a crude upgrade should be, uh, should be sufficient in his case. Uh, we're going to pause this. He's good to go, at least on the operation part, through spamming some pulls into there. We managed to teach him at the very least, I guess. And now I am going to go here, because we only need a crude upgrade, so we don't need one of the more advanced benches for us. And we will go and schedule this thing, which of course needs ports. Luckily, we do have one plank right there that we can use. Look at this! We do seem to have some extra planks. So that's good news. At least that is working a bit better now. Uh, we do even seem to have extra poles. Oh my god! Could it be that we have finally actually somewhat surpassed this bottleneck that we had through, like, all these guys down here? <laughs> I mean, holy, did it take some effort, but... If it works now, I'm, I'm more than happy. It seems like we've still got some sort of pole shortage, but it is way less of a bottleneck than it used to be. And we are finally stacking up some planks again. That is until this guy runs out of power, and our rewinding bot here seems to be very low on power too, to be honest. But hey, I think we've got a positive outlook on our production, so that's good. We will go and trade with this little guy, give him the crude brain upgrade. So uh, he's our next big brain bot, and there he goes, 1kb free, which is perfect, because what we do still need is a repeat function, forever, and that's that. We're finally good to go on making heads too, absolutely beautiful. He can get started on that, he'll probably cause our next shortage on planks and poles, already kind of pre-warning everyone here, but in general, he's good to go I guess, so that's beautiful. Very, very, very happy with that. And the bot body, of course, needs pulls as well, who would have thought? Uh, so yeah, I think we need like some extra bot that actually helps out on these pulls. Now that we've got the planks going, um, we need to get something going right there. But yeah, I mean, you can see we still have a bit of a shortage on Mark II bots. We do have the things coming in for us, though. This is too much. I don't need 40 Mark II bot heads. Oh god, I forgot. Slim that down. Oh no, wait. Uh oh. 
Oh no, that's good. Okay, we slimmed it down to 10. That's fine. I uh, kind of forgot about that part. Honestly, I think you should stop working at 10 because we, we're not really looking to like stockpile the parts for 40 bots. I mean, at some point there's going to be a newer version of these two. So at some point, you know, we should really aim to get this to run full. So we also get to create some backlog of parts here once more. But yeah, so I'm uh, quite, quite happy with that, I have to say. I think next episode we're going to have to make a bot's body or two ourselves for the Mark IIs. Uh, one at the very least, so you can get this part here automated too. And then we will probably get this spare Mark I that we have to also work on poles for us. So that we can stack up some more here and kind of fix that bottleneck of the production too, which will probably cause some inherent effects to the plank part again. But I guess that is something that we'll have to see about when we get to that. For today, though, I'm going to end it off right here. I hope you all very much enjoyed the episode. Of course, if you did, please make sure to hit that like button right down below. That does always help out the channel a ton. And if you're new around here and haven't done so just yet, also please consider subscribing right down below, as well as hitting that bell icon in order to stay up to date on all the future upcoming episodes. But with all that out of the way and our plank storage finally, slowly but surely filling back up, I'm going to end it off right here. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I hope I catch you in the next episode very, very soon. Ciao.